Hello, saints. Listen, I just want you to know that the Lord wants to do so much through you, even right now. Even right now, he wants to show you that all is well. He has so many plans, so many good plans for your life that you're not even going to be able to take it all, right? <laughs> the plans that he has for you. I tell you, if you're praying things that you can change, you are wasting your time. You sure are. Can I say that one more time? If you are praying things that you can change, you are wasting your time. You need to start speaking to your mountain. Remember the authority that you have as someone who is a part of the Godhead. Remember, Jesus is in you. So it's not you and God. It's you in God. You got to start. You got to stop separating yourself from deity. Stop separating yourself from deity. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. That is the cause of your issues. That's the cause of this unnecessary suffering. Okay? Unnecessary suffering. Absolutely. So let's go ahead and read just an excerpt here from the Second Kings chapter 4. <laughs> yeah, I know some of you already know where this is going. So Second Kings chapter 4 and verse 25. Here it is. So she went and came unto the man of God to Mount Carmel. And it came to pass when the man of God saw her afar off, that he said to, Ge to Gehazi, his servant, Behold, yonder is that Shunammite. Verse 26, Run now, I pray thee, to meet her, and say unto her, Is it well with thee? Is it well with thy husband? Is it well with thy child? And she answered, it is well. Now, wait a minute. Let me give you a background. Her child had just passed away. Mm -hmm. He was the one that said, my head, my head. And he put his head in his father's lap. Next thing you know, gone, dead. And yet this woman came to the man of God. And when the man of God asked her, hey, how is everything? How's your child? How's your husband, how's this one? How's that one? She said, it is well. Oh, yeah. Now, was she lying? Hmm. Because, I mean, that's a very sad thing. All right. What she was going through. Was she lying? Mm-mm. No, she wasn't lying. You know why she wasn't lying? Because her faith was not in the man of God. Her faith was in the God. <laughs> Her faith was in the God. And so what she was demonstrating to us is how to receive a miracle. Instead of confessing your pain, instead of when someone asks you how your day is, and perhaps you, you, you hadn't had the best of days, right? Instead of confessing, well, this is the worst day of my life, you know, instead of confessing what it is, hmm, according to the world, confess what it is according to the word. <laughs> Can I say that one more time? Instead of confessing what it is according to the world, maybe a bad day, a horrible day, just got fired, whatever it is. Hmm, confess it according to the word, the word of the everlasting God. And so what happened was this woman said, it is well. May I challenge each and every one of you to say the same thing? Because I want you to come with me. <laughs> I want you to come with me down in these passages of scripture. And I want you to notice the pattern of a miracle. Notice the pattern of a miracle. 
Verse 27, And when she came to the man of God to the hill, she caught him by the feet, but Gehazi came near to thrust her away. And the man of God said, Let her alone, for her soul is vexed within her, and the Lord hath hid it from me, and hath not told me. Then she said, Did I desire a son of my Lord? Did I not say, Do not deceive me? Then he said to Gehazi, Gird up thy loins, and take my staff in thine hand, and go thy way. If thou meet any man, salute him not, and if any salute thee, answer him not again, and lay my staff upon the face of the child. Now we know that this did not do anything. So time is going by, and this child is gone. No pulse. Dead. But then the man of God comes. And it says, when Elisha was coming to the house, behold, the child was dead and laid upon his bed. He went in, therefore, and shut the door upon them, too, and prayed unto the Lord. And look at what happened next. Then he returned and walked in the house to and fro and went up and stretched himself upon him. And the child sneezed and the child opened his eyes. So all of a sudden, as the man of God was performing in, in and by the Spirit, this child gave signs of life by sneezing and by opening his eyes. But it started with the woman confessing that she is well. It is well. Yes, her soul was vexed in her. Yes, she was hurting, but she did not sin with her lips by confessing anything negative or confessing anything worldly. She said, it is well. Why? Because the it is well is based on who made the day. And it was the Lord that made the day. And it was the Lord that healed her son, that resurrected her son. It was the Lord that brought her son back to life so that she can continue to say, yes, it is well. May I encourage you to do the same. Instead of confessing a quote unquote bad day, instead of confessing, well, I don't know this and I don't know this, confess it is well. Confess you know exactly what you're doing. Confess that the Lord is in control. Confess that God is giving you a miracle right now. Confess that you're already healed. Confess that you already have the building. Confess it right now and then leave it alone and continue to worship the Lord who loves you so much and is going to be with you as he's with you right now. So he'll be forevermore. God bless you. God loves you. God smiles when he sees you.